The time is finally here for X-Men Days of Future Past, apparently the best X-Men movie that exists. I know there's lots of fans of the Evan Peters portrayal of Quicksilver. Um, that's the only thing I know about this movie, that there's Quicksilver and that I think it's gonna get all weird and timey. I don't exactly know what's gonna happen here, but all I know is you guys recommended the Rogue Cut, which is I think like 20 extra minutes, so it should add some something in there. I wonder what it's going to be like without the road cut. Definitely let me know in the comments what I would be missing out on if I wasn't watching the road cut. It's kind of weird. It's like Justice League for me. I only watched the Snyder cut of Justice League. I've never seen the old one, so I never really knew what I was getting more of in that version, but I enjoyed it. But yeah, I really enjoyed the last movie, First Class, and all the new actors that got introduced in that. First Class did a great job of fleshing out all the characters and their backstories. Um, even if they're not the same characters as the future movies, I don't know if they're all coming together here. This is like the big Avengers Infinity War type event in X-Men where those past characters and the characters from the first three movies are coming together. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to hop into the movie and see. Leave a like if you've been enjoying X-Men on the channel and you're excited for the animated stuff in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already run the road to 20,000 subs this year. Comment your thoughts on the movie once it's over and let's hop into it. Also, since I mostly remember watching Wolverine Origins like a lot as a kid, and I just don't really want to react to it because I've seen it so many times, I'd probably remember too much. And The Wolverine as well, which I'm pretty sure I've seen with people describing it in the comments. I'm pretty sure I've seen it a couple times, just never the X-Men movies. Apparently, The Wolverine's post credit scene ties in two days of future past, so we're going to watch that. Let's watch it. Two minutes here. It says two years later. I don't think I knew there was post credit scenes back in whenever I would watch this movie. You can go ahead, sir. Or maybe I really didn't watch this one before. Mm. Oh shoot. Wait, how's he stopping him when he has bone claws? Human forces building a weapon that could bring about the end of our kind. Mm-hmm. But I want, I want your help. Why would I trust you? Oh. You wouldn't. Charles is here? <laughs> it was Charles that froze him, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, wow, he's fast. <laughs> Rolling around quick in that. We're really going to get all the characters. The biggest Avengers event. Just phew, everyone mushed up. As the I old character's you back. a long time ago. You're not the only one with gifts. I stole a man's body. Okay, that prepares me, I guess. Don't know what to expect. Only thing I'm confused on is how he stopped him when he had bone claws still. Or was it Professor X that stopped him in place? Or did he even freeze him? Was he just holding up his claw like as a threat? You know, I don't really know. I don't care what happened in the movie. Ooh, I like that. They changed it. Little X-Men theme. If it really is crossing over both the timelines or whatever into this one movie, the trailers must have went crazy. I kind of want to watch those. Ah, not my New York City. Interesting. A world of war, suffering, loss on both sides. Is the future. What is that? Truly set. I don't know. How are you gonna do time travel in this? I feel like always what happened happened is the best sort of time travel, but we'll see. This is the most crazy <laughs> intro we've gotten so far. And the best music. I feel like I'm watching Dune. These spacecrafts. I feel like I recognize this guy. Oh shoot. Sentinels. Who is she? Oh, we're finally seeing Sentinels. Is she Blink? Is Blink an X-Men? A mutant? Why are I still saying that? Oh, dang, this guy. Let's go. Oh, that's gotta be Bishop. 
I know Bishop has guns. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was Kitty Pride. I actually don't know what Bishop's powers are, except that he uses guns. Oh! Who's fire guy? That's not... That's not Human Torch. Maybe Sunspot? No. Whoa, the Sentinels really look like Ultron. From Age of Ultron. Don't they? They could do backflips. I like Pink Girl. That's a cool power. Iceman! He looked so much older. I was like, wait, I know this actor. <laughs> yeah, I'm forgetting already. <laughs> That's cool. I like seeing these guys again. This time we're not actually in the uh, simulation. They can absorb powers? Is, is that why Sentinels are so scary? Huh. They can use the powers from other Sentinels. Oh. This is pretty cool. What? Does Kitty Pride have more powers than just uh, walking through walls? Uh. Oh. <laughs> this must be like another future. They've probably done this multiple times and they die every time or something. I don't know. They would not just be killing off Iceman in the first 30 seconds here. That's cool. Oh! <gasps> that. It is Blink. Oh my gosh. I love playing Blink in Marvel Snap. One of my favorite cards right now. Don't know this guy. He kind of looks like the Marvel Snap Warpath card, but I don't know if that's it. I'm even. <laughs> They're gonna have Kitty Pride's powers to go through the wall, right? Or no? Interesting. Some dolls are pretty scary, but I kind of like their design in Last Stand better. Too late, assholes. Oh, we're in Cerebro. <laughs> Who made the Sentinels? That's what I'm curious about. And what exactly are they? China. Huh. Dang, she really does have a different hairstyle in every movie. Oh shoot. <laughs> These are their best costumes too. Oh. Little hovering chair now. Upgraded. No wheels needed. I know, oh dang, they're working with Magneto too. Right alongside him. Whenever the Sentinels attack, Warpath spots them. It is Warpath. Send Bishop back to warn us of the attack before it happens. I know everyone just Link from Marvel Snap. And excite and <laughs> it's a good, good well, game for lore, I guess. They ever know we were there. So they did all of that a few days from now or whatever. That's why they're all still alive. The Sentinel program was originally conceived by Doctor Bolivar Trask. In the Trask. Early 70s, he was one of the world's leading weapons designers. Oh shoot! It's Peter Dinklage. I was not expecting him in this movie. What? There was one mutant who had discovered what he was doing. A mutant with the ability to transform herself into anyone. Classic. Mystique. I Bravo, you get one point. We met when we were children, grew up together. She was like a sister to me. She found Trask. <laughs> oh. And killed him. But killing Trask did not have the outcome she expected. It only persuaded the government of the need for his program. They captured her that day, tortured her, experimented on her. In her DNA, they discovered the secrets to her powers of transformation. It gave them the key they needed to create weapons that could adapt to any mutant. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. They did look like they had mystique scales, huh? If I can get to her, stop the assassination. Keep I'm not even gonna like really know what's being like rewritten here. Because I mean, the other movies, she wasn't captured right after killing Peter Dinklage and the other movies, like she was, she was all good. The other movies didn't take place in the seventies, right? The first three, they just didn't. So this is an alternate timeline. This is the 
first class timeline, but them grown up. At least one of them. Because some of the first class stuff is here. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it. The mind can only stretch so far before it snaps. It would rip you apart. I'm sorry. No one could survive that trip. What if someone's mind has a way of snapping back? <laughs> oh, him. That's fun, though. Think Blink looks awesome. I like the like cyan eyes and the pink hair. Or I guess they're just like teal. You've got a decision to make. You can keep sending Bishop back in time over and over again to warn you until one day he doesn't make it and you all die. Or you can give up this life so that they and everyone else who died in this war can actually have a future. My people need to vote. Who are his people? They just did. <laughs> what if he's just lying? <laughs> Classic. Charles. I miss Kitty's uh, pink suit, though. I did think it looked cool. There was like barely any pink in it, <laughs> but still. <laughs> when they had differing colors, it was kind of cool. So Kitty Pride can just send Wake you back? Wake up body, God knows where. Then what? You'll need to go to my house and find me. I don't know what that has to do with going through walls, but I guess she just has multiple weird powers. You'll need me as well. What? After Mystique left Charles, she came with me. And I mm -hmm. on the dangerous path. Yeah, back to first class. It's going to take the two of us. Side by side at a time when we couldn't be further apart. We're about to get the sequel. I knew they'd end up a thing. <laughs> Ever since they ice skated. Yo, where is Rogue though? This is the Rogue cut. Does that mean she's cut from the movie? Rogue is cut? This one actually subtracts 20 minutes from of screen time from Rogue. If he says the truth, like he's from the future and all this, I think they'd believe him. Professor X would. Oh, dang. Yo, Bishop was pretty calm about it. <laughs> but obviously, being sent that far back and having your brain snap, it's a little different. Oh, no, he's accidentally sent back as a little embryo. Oh, no, he's in his mother. Oh, no, it's just a lava lamp. Oh, a waterbed. I was like, what? The, ew, what is that noise? I've never been on a waterbed. It kind of sounds fun. Oh, dang. Huge ass man. Whoa, that sign blows smoke. I honestly really thought going into this movie, since it introduces Quicksilver, I thought he was going to have powers like the Flash, where he sends people back in time if he runs fast enough. Not Kitty Pride doing it. Would you believe me if I told you I was sent here from the future? Get out of here, sweetheart. Yeah. We're gonna take care of this comedian. No, you're not. You're gonna give me the keys. So yeah, he just took over the mind of the one from the past. It's not like him transporting in. Because of these. Dang bones. Oh, the water mattress. I did think about that when he woke up from it. I was like, what if his claws go off in his sleep? <laughs> Oh, I, I still sometimes expect Logan violence. Oh. The lucky rabbit's foot. Don't drop it. I love Logan fighting. It's gonna be so good in Deadpool. If these mutants, as you describe, are already living among us, then they are living here. Peacefully. We haven't had an incident mm -hmm. in over 10 years. After we <clears throat> Cuba? That was never confirmed. We have very real enemies out there. The Russians, the Chinese. We are talking about... <laughs> I see Peter Dinklage. ...a tenth of a tenth of our population. And I quote. Maybe he's a super tiny mutant. Maybe that's his gene in him. Homo sapiens, which is us, was an aberration. The arrival of the mutated human species, Homo sapiens, was followed by the immediate extinction of their less evolved kin. We are the Neanderthal. Uh -huh. for yourself, Dr. Trent. Is the program literally just to make these sentinels that kill mutants? Program? It ain't gonna fly. Or is it meant to like find them so that you can mark them or whatever? Because one of those options is a lot worse.
Toad. Alexander Summers. You out of this shit That's who that was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Havoc. <laughs> I'm just not recognizing people for some reason. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I never expect it when it's Mystique. <laughs> she didn't get a really cool fight sequence in uh, first class, I just noticed. It feels like it's been a while. Yo, who is doing all that? That is Toad. They look back in. Dang, they really darkened her. Raven. That's not my name. Okay. No one's gonna see that. Can we bring Cyclops back, please? He did not get a good send off. I help you? Uh, yeah, what happened to the school? The school's been shut for years. Are you a parent? <laughs> sure, so hope not. Who are you? <laughs> Hank. Hank McCoy, I look after the house now. You're a beast? Look at you. Oh, I guess you're a late bloomer. <laughs> So he can transform back into human form? Or, I mean, because this wasn't... Yeah, this is after Mystique. This is after first class. Oh, he's going to get angry and blue. <coughs> yeah, he, he must have found a way to become human again. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, beast. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. What's going on here? Uh, is he walking? He is. That I'm His long hair, dude. It's gonna be a little tricky because the person who sent me was you. Can you look into his mind and? I know. Stay with me. No, he's telling the truth. You did that in first class. If you had your powers, you'd know I was telling the truth. How do you know I don't have my? Who are you? Yeah, he said he didn't. You see, I ordered all the. Voices in your head, and it wasn't until you were 12 that you realized all the voices were in everyone else's head. Do you want me to go on? How did he get rid of his powers? I never told anyone that. Dang, Beast looks completely different too. Not as huckable. So, you're saying that they took Raven's power and what? They weaponized it? Yep. She is unique. I guess that's why he can transform back and forth, because part of him is Mystique too. Yo, Mystique kind of is a, I said it back in like X2 or something, how much these movies revolve around Mystique and her powers. I don't know if that annoys people, but it's just something I perceived as I'm watching these. She really is like the main plot point or a big like MacGuffin or whatever you want to call it throughout all these movies. She's really important. That's why we're going to need Magneto too. Eric? <laughs> They're like so surprised he knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> Could you give me that one more time, please? You heard me. <laughs> Yo, what happened to Professor X? He really fell apart. I think I do remember you now. Yeah. <laughs> Tall, angry fellow with contentious hair. From the bar. You were a long time ago seeking your help. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if they'd bring that up. What you said to us then. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Not in my Marvel movies. What the hell happened to him? My thoughts exactly. Eric. Raven. I mean, his legs. Mm -hmm. We built the school, the labs, this, this whole place. Many of the teachers and older students were drafted. Dang. I broke him. I designed a serum to treat his spine. You know, derived from the same formula that helps me control my mutation. Uh-huh. I take just enough to keep myself balanced, but he takes too much. He's a drug addict. Gets rid of his powers, gets him his legs working. Huh. But what makes you think you can change him? Because you and Eric sent me back here together. <laughs> the room they're holding him in was built during the Second World War when there was a shortage of steel. So the foundation is pure concrete and sand. 
no metal. He's being held up That's cool. beneath the most heavily guarded building on the planet. <laughs> One he forgot to mention. Uh, JFK. He killed. <laughs> he did? <laughs> so I guess in this movie, they're not going the route of uh, what happens happens because Magneto and Professor X would probably remember them in the future. You know, if it was like a loop in that way. <laughs> what? It's internet. <laughs> I just came to grab a couple files. Is that a new scarf? It's nice. <laughs> Why is this so weird? A new scarf? It's nice. Ah, uh, mistake. <laughs> the, the portrait. Um, made himself big. Clearly, he's a little insecure about that. Oh, it's a little kid in a wheelchair. Still, the proportions are off. That's so cool. Wait, I just noticed, so when they make Sentinels get Mystique's powers, Mystique's powers are only to transform her looks into other people. She doesn't actually get their powers, right? Even when she got Wolverine's metal claws in the first movie, um, he just chopped right through them. They didn't even work, so they were just like make-believe or whatever. Is there certain mutants where she does get their powers, I wonder? Because the Sentinels obviously were designed to, to use her same powers in some way, more like Rogue, where it actually steals powers. Sentinels, I guess, are kind of a mix between Rogue and Mystique. Oh, shoot. There he is. Ah, uh, little angel. One second. Oh. We uh. added some names to the Paris meeting. He has a tear on his eyes still. Thank you. Is something wrong, sir? No, it's, it's nothing. Dang. Maximoff. Oh, shoot. He's going to be here? So, Logan knew him? What's he done now? He's got, like, speed marks on his welcome mat. Is that the Scarlet Witch? Where's your brother? Is that the Wanda? Oh, he's playing with himself. <laughs> I've been here all day. The only time I've seen him acting is is first off as Jeffrey Dahmer. I didn't watch that full show, but I'm gonna be seeing him as that now. That's terrifying. But no, in WandaVision, when he showed up, I actually enjoyed his character a lot. And he dressed up in like the old comic Quicksilver look and everything. So I enjoyed him there, if you want to see my first reaction to him, ever. But I was mad when he showed up to the door and I was like, who is this guy? I'd rather have Aaron Taylor Johnson's Quicksilver from Age of Ultron. Because I just didn't have any connection to this guy, but I enjoyed him in WandaVision. <laughs> he had time to kill. Are you FBI? No, you're not cops. Hey, what's with this Gibbs Youngster's place? He even talks fast. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Well, he's fascinating. He's a pain in the ass. So you're not afraid to show your powers? Powers? What powers? What are you talking about? Is you something strange here? Nothing anybody would believe if you told them. <sighs> he gets away with a lot. Well, only if you get he off. just steals everything. For me. You, you kleptomaniac, get to break into the <laughs> Oh, he's interested. <laughs> he just throws up. <laughs> it's cool, it's disgusting. Yeah, this is, this is disgusting. I like him with long hair, Professor X. Makes him more fun. I don't know. Oh, kitchen. Is this what I've seen? I've seen one scene of Quicksilver in a YouTube video, and it was him going through a kitchen. There he is. Yeah, he's got like goggles. He looks weird. <laughs> but I guess they're to stop flies from hitting his face and stuff. Oh, dang. <laughs> They got plastic guns. Makes sense. What's going on? Damn it! Call maintenance. Get him down here. Dang, this is way more secure than what they had in Last Stand and X2 at the end of X2. <sighs> well, it's so cool having all these characters come together. Seeing old Magneto and seeing young Magneto. Oh, he can vibrate super fast.
Dang. Will be here to shoot us. I know. That's what I'm waiting for. What are you doing? I'm holding your neck so you don't get whiplash. What? Whiplash. <laughs> ah, uh, he understood that part. <laughs> Oh, dang. I don't know when he goes by people, they go flying. I love the sound effect too. It's like a little fly buzzing. You're good. It'll pass. Anything I'm guilty of is <laughs> people like us. taped up a guy. Is it karate? You know karate, man? I don't know karate, but I know crazy. We have to get you to the third floor. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. You didn't have to stab them. That's, that's good. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just not very good with violence. Charles. Dang, you wanted to punch him so bad. Good to see you too, old friend. I'm never getting inside of that head again. I need your word, Eric. Now hug, guys. Is this a scene I've seen? I actually don't know. This has to be, yeah. Oh, the... How long it takes those claws to come out? Yeah, okay, I've seen this. I've seen parts of this. <laughs> he just puts on music? Wait, but the music... The music plays at the right speed for him? Or is it in slow motion? I don't even know. This is really creative, like... I don't know how they do this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, just make sure they're not aiming at anyone. Just take their guns, man. <laughs> he could just grab. Dang, time really goes slow for him. Nice, and then do it again. Okay, okay, okay. It all made sense in the end. Dang. In the blink of an eye or less, he just took out the entire room. He kind of seems like one of the most OP ones. I'm thinking, how does he die? But at the same time, I've seen Age of Ultra. <laughs> that was a very different Quicksilver, though. He was taking one for the team. Don't know if this kid would do the same. Emma. Uh huh. Banshee. Mutant brothers and sisters, all dead. So he was there for all that when they died. Eric, where were you, Charles? He's making the plane come down. You and Hank, pretending to be something you're not. You abandoned us all. Uh, they're both right. They're always both right, for the most part. Want to pick all that shit up? There you go. I like how he hasn't told them his full powers yet. That he heals and stuff, so they might be surprised later. <laughs> Dang, he actually said, unless you're here with someone. I've never heard that in any movie or anything. <laughs> they just assume they're not. <laughs> Too good to be true, man. Show me more. Baby, close off. Skin on. Maybe he likes this. The foot to the neck. No, he does not. Chess. Yo, I could never play chess on an airplane. It would just like fall everywhere. I didn't kill the president. The bullet curved, Eric, because I was trying to save him. They took me uh -huh. before I could. Why would you try and save him? Because he was one of us. JFK was a mutant. She's out there fighting for our cause. Your cause. Girl I raised, she was not capable of killing. You didn't raise her, you grew up with her. And she couldn't stay a little girl forever, that's why she left. She left because you got inside her head. That's not my power. She hasn't killed yet. She made a choice. Mm-hmm. 
and then they're going to wipe us out. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Thank you for coming. Yeah, whenever I see Peter Dinklage at a big table like this, I just imagine the elf scene where he gets up on the table and starts marching on it. Named after the ancient guardians that stood at the gates of the Citadel. They have the aeronautic capabilities of a Harrier jet. Mm -hmm. Armed with guns that can fire off more than 2,000 rounds per minute of thermo ammunition. That could get out of hand so easily. It's himself. No. He's mistaken. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. Didn't even realize like I was in the room. There has to be some kind of mistake. No, don't shoot it. I don't shoot it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way he talks about mutants, I would kill him too if I was Mystique. Whoa. <laughs> Looks so funny when she's mid-transforming in a fight. You're making them a weapon though. They weren't a weapon. The government just turns the mutants into weapons. Yeah, she became insane at fighting. Raven. Uh, Man's got galva knuckles. What the heck? Eric. Why are you still shocking this man? Forgive me, Mystique. As long as you're out there, we'll never be safe. Eric. Oh, shoot. No, he's really. Stop him. He can't. Oh. Oh, he can control it from the air, of course. This thing. And he can curve it down. <sighs> no way he kills Mystique. Ow. In the leg. Ugh. Yeah, Wolverine, this is not the time. He's slipping back. They really needed Quicksilver here, too. Could have stopped that bullet. She's the one the public gets to see. Son of a finish what we started, Wolverine! One day! That's coming back to him because it's... Is, is it the old Wolverine slipping in? Because he would be past all that at that point, right? I guess he just got triggered because of the stun. Wrongs in the person. Get the metal off you. Oh, it's it's a bullet. Uh, Eric, what is wrong with you? The way he comes up with solutions in his head is not right. Yeah, the old Wolverine is back. Charles Xavier. I don't know you. Huh? What the hell is that? Sorry. Uh, everyone catching on on camera. Oh dang, he's bleeding under there. You're on acid. <laughs> Somebody gave you really bad acid. Yeah. Good, good save. Oh no, man. This was about to be so, I mean, semi-simple. Oh, that's gonna be caught on camera, the guy appearing twice in the crowd. Oh. Jeez. We'll get through this together. She's one of the Oh. Beast out in the public like that. That's the last thing he wants. <laughs> Yo, is Kitty gonna die from just doing this? You going back in there? Professor. What happened to you? I just saw someone who's gonna bring me a lot of pain someday. This man, Eric Lencher, escaped from a maximum security prison inside the Pentagon. We believe that this woman is a former associate of Lancer. This is supposed to be Nixon? Together in Cuba, the day of the crisis in 62. Yes, we do. They're mutants. And she can transform into anyone. A general, 
a Secret Service man, even you, Mr. President. She could walk into this office and order a nuclear strike. It's really easy to get people on his side. Well, do we have any countermeasures? Any defense? I was waiting for you to ask me that question. <laughs> Too easy. Program, sir. You're telling me these mutants are out in the world. On our best defense are these giant metal robots. Many of the mutants. Are they metal? Because like Magneto would be great against Sentinels. They're built out of a space age polymer, not an ounce oh. of metal only. Nice. Wait till that one mutant appears that can control that exact thing. And one more thing. Whatever you need. <laughs> managed to capture them. I would like her for research purposes, of course. I don't care who you screw, as long as it's not me. Dang. Again, always so creative. Stitching himself in the back of his head. They have mutant DNA to study, man. It's your fault, Magneto. If I see so much as a screw, I will jam this into your throat. How did you find me? You taught me well. It's been a long time since we were this uh, close. I missed you. You tried to kill me. So the rest of us could live. Hey, you didn't explain to her. In the future. Don't lie to me. I never have and I never will. Humans use your blood, your genes, to create a weapon that wipes us all out. They just got a sample of her blood because of you. They have your DNA. Your blood was on the street. Whose blood was that? Mine. Exactly. <laughs> plans. They're creating a weapon, and now they have what they need to take it further. It's like he wanted a war to start again. It's like getting her DNA out on the street was part of his plan. Probably wasn't, but still. He likes wars. Trask is the enemy. Killing one man isn't enough. It never was for you. Goodbye, Eric. Whew. Aw, oh, you can lose her so easy. Any predictions, guys? Who was she in this crowd? Maybe the writers don't even know. Oh, his stuff's wearing off. I can't even walk. I need to speak. Oh, I just want to hear the voices. Just... Hey, hey, pull yourself together. Look, I'm... He learns to control it. And she's still out there. But we need your help, Charles. Not like this, I need you. Don't do it. Don't take it. Charles. Okay. This creature is extraordinary. Her genes could hold the key to mutation itself. I need more. That's all they were able to scrape off the pavement. Maybe why she's so important. More than blood. I need brain tissue. I actually wonder, is Mystique one of the first mutants ever created in the comics? Pretty sure Namor counts as a mutant, right? I know Namor is really old. Never before in all of human history has there been a cause which could unite us as a species. Than to wipe out another, <laughs> than to genocide people. You really hate mutants, Doctor, don't you? On the <laughs> He's laughing at that. I'd rather admire them. Things oh. they can do. You're jealous of them? I see mutants as our salvation. And common enemy. Common struggle against the ultimate enemy. Extinction. Uh, I believe our new friends are going to help us usher in a new era, Bill. A new era of genuine and long-lasting peace. Oh, there's one of those sentinels. Dang, they got to work fast. At least they can crush these cargo containers that they're in. This is cool to see. <laughs> Young. Charles and clean Cerebro. Ooh. Ah, that is awful. I don't like it. Cerebro, dude, in the first couple of movies, it's shown as such a peaceful, like, awe-inspired thing to, to witness where you're going through and like you're seeing all these people's lives but in x2 and after it's like going into here is nightmarish man you hear screams you hear the worst parts of humanity how 
Object the generator. It's his mind. Can. It won't take it. You're just a little rusty. You don't understand. It's not a question of being rusty. I can flip the switches. I can turn the knobs. But my power comes from here. It comes from... And it's broken. And I was the only one who could physically make the trip. And, uh... I don't know how long I've got here. But I do know that a long time ago... Actually... A long time from now... <laughs> I... Was your most helpless student. You unlocked my mind. You showed me what I was. You showed me what I could be. Go into his head and see it. If you can. It might just be this current Logan's head. <gasps> you can look into his you mind. What I did to Cerebro. <laughs> hey, Gene. Hi, Gene. Kill me. I love you. Dang, I'm feeling kind of like nostalgic for these movies now. <laughs> After just recently watching them. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> this is cool. Wonder if he can feel himself there. The older one. Do you feel yourself in the room? Charles. He does. Charles. So this is what becomes of us. Not if we show them a better path. Just because someone stumbles, loses their way. Doesn't mean they're lost forever. Is that what he said in first class? It sounded very similar. You gotta feel everyone's pain? Just bring it in? Power's back on. Yes. He's changed. The way he can just magnet jump to places. Kill. Oh shoot. He's giving it metal insides. Okay. Is that one that they're shipping off to go show off in a big presentation and he's just going to control it, make it kill everyone? Maybe they'll run into that one in the future. Magneto will sense it. So they build the Sentinels all that time ago, but it takes them a long time to actually send them out to kill people. After all three of the main X-Men movies when they're already really old. Well, they were also battling Sentinels in Last Stand, but they look completely different. Like in the... um simulation thing what's danger room i don't know I, I should stop trying to piece it together someone else no no one has kitty's power someone that could take her power take rogue her oh experimenting on her. trying to tap into her power so they can take ours take all of ours if you knew this why didn't you go after her we tried too heavily guarded i may know a few things about that house they don't oh <laughs> Back at the house. Where you should be. I need you to, to come, come home. home. I know what I need to do. If you kill Trask, you'll be creating countless more just like <laughs> Then I'll kill them too. Those are Eric's. This is pretty it's cool. Not yours. <gasps> I know what Trask has done. But killing him will not bring them back. I know exactly what I have to do. You do. Then wherever you go, I will find you. And Raven, if you make me, I will stop you. Oh, shoot. In the future, do I make it? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> now he's gonna be freaking out about that for the rest of his life, man. Raven. She yeah. actually came home. She just didn't want to be told to come here, but she knew she had to. I really shouldn't walk on this. No, well, not all the time. You know, I take a shot in the morning, and I need another if I get worked up. Worked up. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm emotional. Excited. Excited. Any animal urges. <laughs> you getting any of those right now? Well, maybe we shouldn't have to fight off the things that come naturally to us. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to want hair in your mouth. Hank's winning. <laughs> oh, don't scratch her. 
guess he's not that hairy in the face. He's actually pretty normal. Do you remember one of the last things you said to me? That I would never be deemed beautiful. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> that was so messed up. Do you still think that? You saw what happened in Paris. I mean, I'd rather you turn into someone else. You know what they think of us. What about yourself? He does not like himself. Obviously. You should, uh, you should get some rest. <laughs> Why is she going like this on the floor covering herself up? She's always like that. <laughs> Do you remember the last thing I said to you? Yeah, you're in and proud. I remember. It was mutant. Oh, you're and proud. proud. Hey. I have loved their relationship through this. I'm wondering if in the 90s series and all that stuff, we ever get young versions of the characters? Probably not. It's probably all just one timeline. But I do like seeing the young versions versus the older ones. I, I like this Hank more than older Hank, just because probably we've gotten more of him. That effect has gotten a lot better over the years. Hey, they didn't go through their heads. That's nice. Let me show you how it feels. Hey, you captured Rogue first in the <laughs> in, in the first movie. Rogue. Rogue. Oh my gosh, has her hair gotten really gray now? The more they like drain her powers or whatever. Wake up! Wake up! It's me. It, it does look extra white. Ah, <gasps> uh, the wings they've just dissected. I like seeing this dual perspective of the past and the future. Of Magneto here. He's coin. <laughs> rope, rope, rope. It's okay. He's with me. <laughs> His helmet did look really cool at that very end, like the post credit of first class. The red. Wish I wasn't so destroyed. Get out of there now! Those are actually really scary, man. <laughs> when they're not made of metal, they can't be controlled. Jeez. Oh, no. Huh. That's the only person Kitty wanted back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Iceman's dead, dead. Oh. Okay, good way to show how powerful Sentinels are, I guess. Jeez. Man, it's been so long since I've seen Rogue. She was not in Last Stand at all. <laughs> I really liked her in the first movie. And X2. Oh. Oh yeah, it's got his ice powers now. Are there like any humans left on the world? It just seems like total extinction from these things. I don't know if they said anything about that, but... Like, the entirety of New York is destroyed. Like, just annihilation everywhere. Don't tell me if I didn't watch the rogue cut that I would just have no rogue in this movie. That would be so weird. Oh, is that why she came here? What's with Mystique and always destroying Cerebro? Dang, she's so wet. Where's Bobby? Oh. Sorry, Kitty. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, poor kitty. <laughs> oh my gosh, going through it all this this movie. Okay, she has her powers now. He's gonna wake up and stab her again. <laughs> She's cut her ties. Hey, I saw on the news last night, there's going to be an announcement in Washington this afternoon about a, a new protocol for mutants. Is that the system I That's exactly what Magneto is getting to. Over all three networks and PBS. All three. Wow. <laughs> Tomorrow, in front of the White House, the president will make his announcement. He'll be joined by Secretary of Defense Laird and has even sought the help of renowned scientist Bolivar Trask, his special advisor to combat this mutant issue. Now, there's a theory in quantum physics that time is immutable. Yeah, that's all I've been saying. But how wouldn't these characters remember if something has to happen? Charles. Charles can wipe minds. We learned that in first class. 
<laughs> Does he do that? Oh my gosh. That could be crazy. That would be crazy. This is how it's always happened. War is inevitable. Yeah. What if she's meant to kill Trask? What if this is just simply who she is? Hmm. I would love if by the end it turns out that way though. So they're going to show off a Sentinel prototype at Washington. And it's going to have some Magneto inside of it. Oh my gosh, if... Gene. He doesn't know these names yet. Remember those names. Yeah. <gasps> Yo, if time is a constant, this is such good setup. You could literally watch First Class and then this first and then watch those other X-Men movies and know that Wolverine is the one that put the team together in the first place. That would be so sick. I hope the movie turns out that way by the end. Wolverine started the X-Men, started all this, gave Professor X the strength he needed it to run the school. Holy. There's so many of us. We will need you, Professor. Hopefully he didn't look too far ahead of how he dies. Or he did, and that's why he plans to set up another body or whatever. Get a second life. I don't know. Warpath. I have no idea what his powers are, but... He can sense danger, I guess. GG's. Make a big metal sword, Magneto. These two are with me. Go ahead. Thank you. Jedi mind tricking. Oh. Hey, he can go in a metal detector. <laughs> the little smile on his face. Fourth infantry at Chen La. Took a bouncing Betty. Ow. You don't know how to dodge bounce, bouncing Bettys? You just go prone, man. You really don't need to do that every time. That makes you look like you have an earpiece in, like you're Secret Service or something. Or a mutant. That's cool, though. I really like the pose. <laughs> Mystique is somewhere here. And same with Magneto, probably. The world will never be the same again. Oh, jeez. Well, no, time can't be a constant because in the other movies, they would have seen all these. I don't know. There she is. Thanks for flushing your eyes. What does this stadium have to do with anything? No, you can't. What is he doing? Uh, why? He's gonna lift the whole stadium and fly with it. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, he eventually does get a meteor in the sky, right? Asteroid M. So, I mean, he's pretty powerful. Let me go, Charles. There, you see? Secret serviceman. Left of the stage. Got it. Go. Yeah, obviously this doesn't all happen because Mystique and him are involved. Unless minds are wiped. Or, uh, I don't know. That would be so cool, though. I These first that. models are... I didn't. So different. Without Mystique's stuff on them. Gentlemen, you cannot pass this point. I feel her rage, too, about this guy. I really do. I don't know whose side I'm on. It's all so messed up. They see mutants in the crowd, too. Oh, no, that's his mutant. I mean, that's his machine, yeah. Oh, the one with the metal in it. Oh, it's such a good plan, the one he did. Why'd they lose track of Eric? Did they? No one asked any questions of why he's gone. I mean, he did, like... Try to kill Mystique, but they should have been looking for him, too. <gasps> oh, that's an unstoppable army. I mean, you're done for. I literally see no way out of that. Those things are insane. What? You can empower him? Hey, that's smart. You can do that in Marvel Rifles with the Doctor Strange portal. <laughs> and then, like, set up a turret and shoot inside them. Just put a portal down here, a portal up here, and make the sentinels just fall indefinitely. Thinking with portals. What the hell happened out there? I will fix it. You said that before. I wanted to make a statement. Now the whole goddamn world knows we can't protect them. I will fix it. Oh. Uh, mystique, are you gonna do it? Is she gonna make it like... 
make it electric. The electric boogaloo. Oh. I guess that's one way to stop them. She nuked them. Nice defense. Oh, dang. Storm is awesome. Why the stadium? Oh, those are all his. I thought he, he, he had one. Oh, that's a bit different. <laughs> we only saw him put the metal in one, so. Oh. Oh. He didn't get hit, but. Jeez. The scale of this movie. A whole stadium just fell around the White House. They actually just stopped all of them. Oh. <gasps> Metal. No shot. It's not metal, it's the whatever. Something he couldn't stop. What? Oh, he felt that. No. There's no way that just snuck up on you. Oh, it's just chucking her. Oh, there, there's multiple climbing up the wall. You can blink, like put portals in them and cut them in half with them by unportaling. Ah, uh, why do they all have that laser beam? Ah! Uh. Metal of the ship. Yo, that guy's awesome. Oh, nice. What? Oh, momentum. Oh, uh, who is this flying guy? He's not the Human Torch. <laughs> That's a Fantastic Four. Got to be Sunspot. I really don't know though. That looked pretty bad. <gasps> oh, why, man? Uh. Oh, uh, not don't stab Rogue again. Oh, she's getting flashbacks, dude. Oh. oh, so much for being a survivor. The rebar just going all through him. Oh, oh he's gonna sink. What? No, no, that's so bad. He's just gonna like infinitely be drowning under there. Oh, that is the worst fate. Magneto. Magneto. That bell is like a classroom bell. Why are they using that sound? No, don't kill it. I need it alive. <laughs> it. Oh, they could have transformed into anyone. Nice. Gotta respect it. Mystique's insane. I said the vault with all the people in it. <gasps> Ow. Oh. No way. I did not see the movie going in this direction at all. Also, I thought there would be like 90% more Quicksilver. I thought he'd be a main character in the whole movie. <laughs> Hands up. Yeah, I'm seeing his Omega level right now. Man, get him out of there. Because you are afraid of our gifts. Because we are different. <gasps> Humanity has always feared that which is different. No. <gasps> that looks so painful. Why is this movie so violent? Jeez. Oh. And anyone who stands in our way will suffer the same fate as these men you see before you. Oh, shoot. It's got white queen's power. Today was meant to be a display of your power. Or, yeah, Instead, I'm a frost. I give you a glimpse of the devastation my race can unleash upon yours. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Death Strike. The fights are really cool with the Sentinels. She's surviving. Blink yourself away. Fight together in a brotherhood of our kind. Ah. Oh. They all die. 
All those years wasted fighting your villagers to have a precious few of them back. You want to make a statement? Kill me. Fine. But spare everyone else. This guy really sounds like J.K. Simmons. Mr. Nixon impressions. Is that Mystique as Nixon though? Very heroic, oh, Mr. President. he's super juicing. Oh, he's super juiced so he wouldn't be seen as a mutant. <gasps> oh, a mystique. Now she could be seen in good light. Oh, the twists. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was Mystique. But I didn't think she'd shoot. Ayo. <laughs> oh, wait. No way. It's Quicks over here. He was just watching. Oh, no. It's him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not actually in the way. She could just still shoot. You just made him an easier target because he's standing still now. <laughs> Everything that happens now is in your hands. Uh huh. She's gonna shoot Peter Tinklage. <laughs> Will she? No trigger discipline. Yo, the Sentinels are really gonna beat up a guy in a wheelchair? That's where I draw the line. Don't let them. I don't want to see him die like this. <laughs> He's not even fighting back. Ah, uh, that is scary. That's like Pennywise opening up. That's what he does. There's an orange glow inside. She's not doing it. Let Logan out of there. What does it just makes this timeline just goes away. Just doesn't exist anymore. It all goes back to here. But what happens next? Because the next movie is called Apocalypse. So I just, I don't even know. Why is the next movie called Apocalypse? Lock him up. Put him back. If you let them 100 feet the under. Dead. You know that. I know. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> bye bye. Let's see if the public is against mutants in the next movie. I bet they are. Good job, Mystique. We still had to see all of our characters die in the future, but at least you prevented it. Yeah, what about Logan, uh? Someone please. Most people in movies fall onto rebar and it's just like, oh, that looks so painful, but he got it all twisted through him and then drowns. This isn't gonna be the Logan brain from the future, right? Is it just Logan of this time? And now Professor X knows who to look for in the future and all that. There's no longer two timelines that exist, I don't know. Yeah, I recognize that kid. Iceman Rogue, Kitty Colossus. Everyone's here. But which Logan are we looking through? Old Beast? Yeah, yeah, I don't get how this works. But maybe I'm not supposed to. I like timey-wimey stuff because I get to think about it really hard, but I don't know if this is one of those. He's obviously the future brain. Gene. Ain't no way. Please tell me Cyclops is here too. Logan. He's gonna swoop in and start kissing her. <laughs> Cyclops. When does this take place? Whoa. There he is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good to see you, Scott. That's so cool. Okay. Please tell me Professor X at least remembers his brain. Logan. Is everything all right? Dang, he remembers everything. Yeah. Logan. Going back and all that. Where's the resetting point? Where did we reset to? You did it. Did what? Logan, don't you have a class to teach? <laughs> a class to teach? Ah, history. History. Actually, I could use some help with that. Help with what? Uh, pretty much everything after 1973. 
think the history I know is a little different. Welcome back. Hey, he does remember. I had a promise to keep. Yeah. Oh, you know I have a on the plane. Catching up to do. Yeah. Wait, so he's been, so Professor X this whole time has been living with a Logan that doesn't remember all that past stuff until like a certain moment in time where he flashes back to here and this Logan is remembering everything. And now he finally can share it with Charles. What's the last thing you remember? Drowning, unfortunately. Drowning. Uh-huh. Always alive. <laughs> Always alive. A ripple in the river of time. What do you want us to do with the major striker? Enough ripples, and you change the tide. Oh gosh! And this is a mystique. Flash yellow eyes. Set. Hey, it is. Okay. The water movie. I love the X Men theme, by the way. That's great. I never really looked at who composed these movies, but good job. Back in your cell. Oh. Not what I was expecting. Oh, 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 two. What? That's it? Who passed him that? It just came down? Someone breaking him out? Probably not. Post, post credit? What? Is this even, is this actually post credit or is this like a trailer for something else? The CGI people. Is this what apocalypse is? It feels like it's forming a logo for something. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually post credit. Timothy Chalamet and Dune. <sighs> was that like the four horsemen behind or something? How many horsemen are there? That would mean apocalypse. That makes sense. That's the tease for apocalypse. The only thing I know about apocalypse is that he's played by uh, Oscar Isaac. That's all. I didn't know he was from Egypt or from the past or whatever. And I know that he, um, he's a Marvel snap card. That, that is literally it. Honestly. Don't know what to expect from Apocalypse. And I really am curious about what I miss, what I would have missed if this wasn't the rogue cut, you know? I don't feel like anything in here felt like it was just in here to add extra length. It all felt like it flowed pretty well. What would it be like without that extra 20 minutes or whatever? And it's called the rogue cut, so I, I have to imagine it's every rogue scene. Like she's literally just cut out of the main movie. They don't go on that adventure and go get her. They don't like help Kitty in that way, which would also mean like Iceman just unexpectedly dies, I feel like, right? And honestly, with everything I've heard about Quicksilver, maybe he's in the other movies, I guess, but I expected him to be in this for the entire thing. I thought the timey-wimey stuff would happen because of him, like he can go so fast like Flash and bring people back in time or change stuff. Um, I, I don't know, I expected it to be completely different. But I enjoyed it a lot. I wasn't expecting the future to be that bleak, that like apocalyptic. Uh, we never really even saw humans in the future. It was like everyone was extinct. And Sentinels were just sent out to just go commit genocide. Really liked the future things with some new mutants having um, Blink in there. I thought she was really cool. Still don't know exactly who the fire guy was. I might have gotten the name right earlier. I don't know. But all their fighting in the future was really cool. The slow-mo death scenes I enjoyed. Um, Magneto showing his... I mean, I, I, I feel like that's Omega level. Showing Omega level stuff, but it's probably not at all. He's lifted a, a stadium and crushed the White House and brought a vault out. I mean, it was pretty powerful. But I'm guessing Omega level is like, you know, snapping in the galaxy getting destroyed. So there's probably a lot more he can do that I haven't seen yet. But yeah, he was powerful in this movie. A bit unchecked. Like, I don't know why they just completely forgot about him after he shot Mystique and just let, let him be. Knowing Magneto, obviously he would do something terrible. They were just so worried about the future and, and catching Mystique, which makes sense. But yeah, I know Magneto had his whole, his own plan. And I don't blame any of them for their plans. I mean, obviously Trask was a terrible person. I blame him completely he just wanted to kill he didn't want the mutants to be the next dominant species above taking over uh, humans so i am not on trask's side at all like i see where he's coming from and i see why he's so easily able to convince the government to like bring these sentinels to life and all that i can totally see that but 
no magneto and what magneto was doing what mystique was doing and what logan and the rest of everyone was doing i'm on all three of their sides there i really see all angles but since i got a glimpse in the future obviously i'm glad mystique didn't kill trask if that's really what leads to all that but man once they teased um hank talking about how like the perception of time and how it has rules and then when they were talking in the plane logan and charles about how he should recruit all these people in the future i really thought they were going to go the route of what happened happened and everything is going to play out exactly how we know it to play out and it's going to lead to those future events and the future would be unchanged but the way that would have to happen is like Charles by the end of this movie would have to wipe everyone's mind, which we've seen before. So I really thought all that was going to happen. That would have been such a cool, like different take on this movie. But obviously that's my own fan fiction. I came up with midway through. So good ending here as well. I wasn't expecting to, you know, look into the future and see uh, Cyclops again and Gene and all of that. So if that's teasing for the next movie, then I'm really hyped. Because we have not gotten a proper, like, Cyclops since the first movie. Well, and X2. He was in it a little bit. He wasn't in X2 that much. But yeah, I kind of watched those in the same week. So I kind of see X-Men and X2 as together. But yeah, no, he, he was done dirty in Last Stand. So if we're really getting all those characters back um, for Apocalypse, that's awesome. But... I'm also really going to miss all these other characters. And is that really all we get at Quicksilver? I didn't, I never heard about him being in any other movie. I guess we'll see. Don't tell me in the comments. I don't want to be spoiled when I jump into a movie. But uh, yeah, I am hoping we get the younger cast again. I really like them here. And I really like them in first class. I just don't know how that would work. I mean, we're done jumping from the past to the future and all that stuff, right? Maybe they can fit it into the next movie. I don't know. I, I want to see them all together. I want to see young Professor X and old Professor X side by side. And I just really want to see more young Magneto. I feel like I like young Magneto better, even though it's Ian McKellen, you know. I feel bad saying that, but I think I really do like the younger Magneto. Who knows what the next movie entails, but I will be watching it very, very shortly. I really like the journey that Wolverine led Charles through in this movie, where he's kind of just, I mean, I was not expecting that at all from Charles. He was just like a drug addict, kind of not wanting to hear the voices anymore, not wanting his powers, which is so unlike him. It feels like it wasn't about the legs. Like, sure, that cured his legs, but it was mostly about wanting to sleep and not wanting to hear all of humanity, you know, cry out. It wasn't until he looked into Logan's future, and saw himself there and got to speak with himself, too. His mind is so powerful. He actually, that future one, got to remember everything that happened and like connect to the past one he gets to remember all of that and all of them got to live out their lives it wasn't until later on randomly i guess when logan woke up which is weird or his brain like remembered you know his mind connected all those thoughts and seeing that when he was rescued out of the water in the past it was mystique disguised as uh I forgot his name, whatever his name is. Does that mean in the next movie or in, in the future that we just saw where he's with Cyclops and everyone, does he not have his metal claws or do they still do that to him? I don't know. Maybe in the next movie he's just going to have bone, which would make him a greater threat against Magneto if anything happens again with Magneto. But yeah, I think we're done with the uh, past characters. I really hope since we saw a bunch of teases of these future characters here, uh, with Blink and Bishop and potentially Sunspot and all of them. I really hope we do get them in the next movie. I enjoyed their scenes a lot and, and their fighting styles. Can't just tease me here with a little bit of them in the future and not put them in the next movie. We just did this whole movie so that they'd survive, so that everyone would survive. But especially them, because I was rooting for them. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we could use Blink and Apocalypse, I feel like. And more Kitty Pride would be cool in the next movie. I mean, she's kind of just locked in her role of doing this the entire movie sadly she had a few fight scenes which was cool at the beginning i like seeing her powers in combat being able to go through people like you know just helping other people by just touching them and phasing them to different places same with blink in that way of like 
assisting people and rogue i want to see more rogue the mutants that can assist each other in combat i feel like that's always the best to watch on screen but yeah it's weird um somehow i liked last stand a lot uh first class outdid that and all the rest by a, a long mile and then this one i have to say <laughs> again this is now my new favorite x-men movie don't know if that'll change who knows we'll have to see in the next one but this one was really well made i just wish the time stuff made more sense maybe i'll watch a video breaking it down or something but i do like when you can actually make sense of it and it's not so random it felt a little random here like they didn't know exactly what timeline mechanic they were going to use that is one of my only complaints also the sentinels i feel like they looked better in last stand during the uh, danger room scene they had like that purple face it was like a classic look that i've seen on art for x-men before but they're also giant in the danger room scene so i don't know i don't know how big sentinels are supposed to be but either way both models were cool and they were really scary in this movie like i did not see them coming out of a lot of situations and sentinels overall won at the end of the day you we literally had to go back in time to stop them they destroyed every x-men every mutant in the future so very terrifying but yeah, like long hair, drug addict, scruffy Charles was very entertaining to watch. I love this portrayal of him and all his struggles that he had to go through. So he might be one of my favorite parts about this movie. I just like the direct continuation off of first class of how he ended up. Anyways, it's 12.30 a.m. I'm going to sleep. Really enjoyed this movie. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction as well. Let me know your thoughts on days of future past down below in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 20,000 subs in 2024. Hopefully we can hit that. Check out anything else on the channel. We got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. going on right now as well, which is insane. The Boys, House of the Dragon, The Acolyte, tons of other Star Wars stuff. Check it all out. And that's all. I will see you guys in X-Men Apocalypse very, very soon.